So here I have this container, and it would seem that there is something radioactive inside of it. As you can see, my scintillator is picking up on something, especially if I get lower, and then just placing it on the back of this Geiger counter where the tube is. It's beeping a little bit more. So now I can use my radio code 102 to actually find out most likely what is inside of this container based off of the energy of the radiation coming in. So first step, we just restart the spectrum. Then we put the container right there. I just have some rocks here that I will use to keep the radio code in place while it gathers counts. So yeah, that seems to be working. It seems to be working here. Right off the bat, we're already noticing some radium-226. We'll see what this software comes back with in a few minutes. So it's finally done accumulating, at least for a little while. If I amplify the spectrum, it looks like there's radium-226 peaks right there. Actinium-228, there's some more peaks leading to thorium-232. Yeah, more peaks leading to thorium-232. More peaks leading to thorium-232. And then it also says that it's roughly the um, hardness, quote-unquote, of the thorium-232 spectrum. So if I remove these rocks, and if we open this up, and take out whatever is inside, we see that it is a thorite specimen. Now this was very kindly donated to me by Mr. Radioactive Rock. But yeah, as you can see, it's fairly spicy even through the container.